Addition followers. Well, these were covered fairly thoroughly at standard grade. The principle is very easy. A polymer, remember, is lots of little molecules joined together. The little molecules being monomer, mono meaning one. So here are our imaginary monomers, and here they join together in large numbers by the thousands. The process is called polymerization. But how do they join together? If these monomers have double bonds, carbon to carbon double bonds, they must be carbon to carbon double bonds, then given the right conditions, they can join together by the breaking of these bonds. So instead of double bonds, we end up with the same molecules join together like this. So the secret is look for double bonds. If the double bonds are present in the monomer, the process will be addition polymerization. Let's take an example. For example, suppose we have this monomer. Now what would we call this? Two carbons, E, double bond E. There's a chlorine present. Let's call it chloroethene. Chloroethene. If we had more of these monomers, we could see how they might join together repeatedly. It's a bit tedious having to draw these, so there are other shortcuts that we can take later. Here are three monomers. How do they join together? Well, put very simply, given the right conditions, the, these bonds break. This bond breaks and effectively forms a little join. This bond breaks and forms a little join. This bond breaks and forms a little join. There we are, let's join up, join up. And you can see that at the end of the day, the changes relatively small. You, you see a repeating pattern here. It's called the repeating unit there. If someone gives you a polymer, you sometimes have to look for the repeating unit. And once you've spotted the repeating unit, say, ah, well, that repeating unit indicates that the original monomer was that. That's a fairly simple example. Suppose we look at something slightly more tricky than that. How about a monomer like this, let's say. Now, if this monomer has a double bond, then it must be capable of polymerizing. Any molecule with a double bond is capable of undergoing this addition polymerization. So if you were asked to draw a polymer based on this molecule, could you do it? Well, first of all, let's see if we can identify this particular molecule. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, but, butene. Is that good enough? No, because the double one could have been there, so we have to make it clear that but one e is on the first of the carbon atom. We'll call this but one e. Now, can we draw several of these joined together? It looked very easy before, but it was only easy because it, these were packaged in a particular way. The secret is to draw the monomer around the double bond. If you build the molecule around the double bond, then it's possible to do this. So what we need to do here is to draw this in a more user-friendly way. I'm going to make this the centre of the molecule. Here we go. So what do I do? On this carbon, I have two hydrogens. There they are. On this carbon, I have one hydrogen, there it's there, and this, what is this? What is, what is that? Let's call it a package, let's call this package C2H5. And by writing it like this, I've transformed it into something that's easier to manage. That is that. They're the same, just drawn differently. Now we can polymerize this. You can imagine that if we had several of these monomers, then we could easily join them together to show what the polymer looks like. But the secret is to draw them in this fashion. What happens? Well, all these double bonds break and they join together. What do we call this polymer? Well, because we started with but one e this would be called poly, but one e up here, this was chloroethene, so the polymer would be polychloroethene. 
What you have to bear in mind is that no matter how complicated the monomer may appear, you can get around this problem. Let's draw some rather complicated looking monomer. Here, let, let's draw something that looks a little bit challenging. Something like this, let's see. If you are asked to draw a polymer, if you were asked to draw a polymer based on that, you might think it cannot be done. But it can be done. You, you do what we did a moment ago, you make the double bond the focal point of the molecule. That's the centre of the molecule. The carbon here has two hydrogens. There's a hydrogen there. And we've got a package here. Okay, we've got a package here. Let's call it CH3COO. There we are. CH3COO. It's been transformed from something that looked unmanageable to something that's very manageable. All you would do would be to draw several of these and join them all together. So here we go. CH3COO. We've got it all packaged up. All we need to do is to break the double bonds, join them together, and here, presto, we've got our polymer. There it is. Addition to polymerization. It's taking what you'll understand it made just one stage further.